Hi, Carolyn here and Loon. So you want to become a cloud engineer and you're like, how do I pass the job interview? And you're wondering what type of questions they're going to ask you. In this video, I will tell you about cloud engineering questions, how you pass the interview, things you should look for. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing is the classic job interview mistakes. So if you already know the classic job interview mistakes, you can look in the time bar and move to the next chapter. All right, so the first thing you wanna look at is the classic job interview mistakes. The first thing is lying on your resume. Don't lie on the resume, it's useless. They're gonna know, and if they don't know, do you really wanna work for somebody you can deceive that easily? No, so don't do that. Number two, avoid spelling mistakes. Nobody wants to hire somebody who makes spelling mistakes, especially if everybody's looking for somebody who pays attention to details. Don't make spelling mistakes. Use a spell checker. Number three, don't diss on your old employer. There's no point. They, everybody wants to hire somebody who's positive. So if you don't like your old employer, just say, I'm looking for new opportunities, I want a challenge, or it's time to move on, blah, blah, blah. Just make a, a positive excuse. The fourth classic mistake is not knowing about the job or the company you're interviewing for. You can look up your interviewer, you can look up your job. I mean, you should have looked up your job if you're applying for it. So why do you not know anything about it? Why do you not know the requirements? Why do you not know what it's about? Why do you not know the company? You can Google them, do it. So one thing that they're going to ask you is what have you done in the cloud? Because you're applying for a job. People want to know what your experience is with that job. Right, Cloudy? <laughs> they want to know what you did in the cloud. So you should be able to talk about it. You should be able to talk about projects you've done. And if you haven't done any projects, then now is a good time to start doing a project. Make a website, do some data analysis in the cloud. So one thing you may be asked to do is design a system based on a need. So for example, they may ask you to f design a system for an e-commerce. So you should be able to say, all right, I'm gonna use a virtual machine to serve the data. So you can say, I'm gonna do a special VNet so I can connect to the database without making everybody, giving everybody access to the database. And since it's a large website, maybe I'll use a virtual machine scale set as opposed to a uh, regular virtual machine, or I'm gonna use an app service plan, or I'm gonna use blob storage with a content delivery network, or whatever have, what have you. So just try and come up with a design. So you should be able to come up with a diagram. If you look on the uh, pricing calculators, for example, for Azure, you will see that they have pre-made designs and just look at those, look at how they make the diagrams, look at the services. They want you to know about services when you do a job interview. So look through diagrams, through cloud designs and come up with those diagrams and be able to draw them. But just know that the people who will be interviewing are drawing those in their mind when you are telling them something. So if you're giving them BS, they will throw a poop emoji in their mind. Keep that in mind. Another thing they may be asking you is how do you migrate a certain system to the cloud? What do you do? How do you mi migrate a database to the cloud? What are the services you use? For example, database migration from uh, Azure. Do you, how do you use that? What are the implications of using that? Do you do it live? Do you do it offline? How, how would you go about doing a migration for a system to the cloud? So they want to know if you have experience with something like that. They may not ask you that. They may already be directly in the cloud and just ask you to uh, take care of the cloud, but just be ready for migration questions about how do you move a service that is already existing on-premise to the cloud. So migrating databases, migrating virtual machines, migrating code, things like that. Another thing they may be asking you is about specific offerings in the cloud that are in the job description. So for example, if they say we work with, um, I don't know, SQL Data Warehouse in Azure, do you know about it? L read up on it, read up on the limitations, read up on the costs, read up on uh, how it functions. If they tell you about uh, virtual machines, scale set, if they tell you about app services or DevOps, just look up whatever keywords are in the job descriptions that they will tell, talk to you about. 
you may not have any experience, but if you just show up and say, you know what, I looked it up and this is the answer to the question you asked, then they will be okay with that. Because in the cloud, a lot of services are brand new because they just change all the time. There's never anything that stays the same day after day. So everything is brand new and you have to be able to look things up and research things and show that you're able to take the initiative to research new technology that you may not be comfortable with. The last thing that I can think of that they may be asking you in general is when to use IAS or PAS or SAS. And if you don't know what those are, then maybe you should be looking into those. Because the first one, IAS with two A's, infrastructure as a service, it's when you have on-premise infrastructure, such as virtual machines, networks, and things like that. PAS is when you don't worry about the underlying OS, but you use the code and you manage uh, code and applications and things like that. And software as a service is when you only manage the data and access in your application. You should be comfortable knowing when to use those three offerings. Those are very basic cloud questions that you should be able to answer if you want to become a cloud engineer. All right, so let me tell you quickly about those. So IAS, you use that when you have an application from a vendor type of thing, where they give you software to install on Windows type of thing, or Linux or whatever, and you don't really have code, and you have to manage the whole infrastructure, or you're migrating from on-premise to the cloud, and you're doing a one-to-one -one migration, Platform as a service is something you would use if you have code that you have to run, like for example, you're deploying an application, a custom application type of thing, that's when you use that. And SAS is obviously everything like Office 365 suites and all SharePoint and whatever other offerings you have. It just makes it easier for the customer, the end user to just manage it. And that's something that IT doesn't have to manage. So it's a lot easier. So these are a few examples of what an interviewer may be asking you for a job as a cloud engineer. You may have other ones. If you have done an interview as a cloud engineer and you have had other questions, please write them down in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a part two of this video with other questions that people have been asking. All right, so the puppies are here. So that means bloopers. Let's go. Whoop. Hey, this is, it's, what? Stop it, start it again. Okay, so the question is, what if you can't find the company? What if you can't find the interviewer? What if, like, what if you can't find anything? Oh, Bob, I eat banana bread for a hobby. <laughs>